Hey everybody, welcome for, welcome for, welcome to, <laughs> welcome to another time set. Uh, we are going to be hitting up a push and pull day, which is pretty much mostly chest and back. I have a set of 35 pound dumbbells, a set of 25s, and I'm going to be using my TRX today. Um, I generally don't use it because I don't think, you know, some of you don't have one, um, but some of you do. So we're going to use it today. It's another good way to get some pushes and pulls in. So um, if you don't have a TRX, grab a um, resistance band and an anchor point, and you can use that for your options and your alternate. And if you don't have a resistance band, um, I'll give you another uh, alternate to do. So let's go ahead and start on the ground. Go into, onto your hands and knees, spread your fingertips wide, sit back on your heels, reach the arms forward, let your chest kind of drop forward toward the ground, grab through the core. So you wanna to try to keep your neutral spine as you go through the middle all the way forward. Let your hips drop, grab through your booty muscles, open your hip flexors, open your ribs, and then push back. Take a nice deep inhale here. And then exhale forward again, <sighs> opening the chest, opening the ribs, the abs, and flexing the back. And then push back one more time. And forward. Nice stretch on those forearms as well. So for our timer today, we are going to be hitting up an AMRAP, a five-minute AMRAP. Go into your downward-facing dog, pedal out your feet, drive your chest back. Get your ears inside the shoulders, inside your biceps. So we're going to hit a five-minute AMRAP, and then I'm going to be hitting up six to eight reps on my weighted sets. So remember, if you can do more, then you should probably pick a heavier weight. <clears throat> Unless you want to stay light and go with heavy reps, you are welcome to do so. All right. Come back to a high plank, and we're going to let our shoulder blades squeeze together. A little planche push, and then round, kind of like a cat-cow, but it's up in your scapula. Squeeze shoulder blades, press and round. One more, and round. Back to your hands and knees. Bring your right hand behind your head. Inhale, twist up. These thoracic rotations are so good to keep in your daily movements. Especially if you do much sitting or desk work, these are extremely helpful to keep your mid-back mobile, which helps with a ton of other healthy body movements. All right, other side. Inhale, rotate up, and then exhale down. That low back stays stable and still. Last. All right, we're gonna go back up to our downward facing dog. We're gonna hinge forward and back, um, hitting up a push up just to kind of gear the chest up a little bit more. We're gonna start off with a chest press and an overhead pull. So there we go, push on our pull. We'll have our two exercises, two moves, and then we'll do as many rounds as possible in our five minutes. We have 30 seconds between our sets and we have five runs last one here good all right so i'm gonna try to use my 35s you go at whatever pace you do not need to stay on my timeline you can it you know go faster especially if you have lighter dumbbells you can transition a little faster. Maybe you have heavier. You need to take some breaks along the way. So three to five sets within your rounds is wonderful, but we'll kind of see how it goes. All right, chest press to start. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells. Lay down on your mat. Ready, set, and go. All right, so for me, six to eight reps. If you have access to a bench, Feel free to use your bench for your chest press. Sometimes it's easier to get the heavier weights up. 
not such an awkward positioning. I do still think that using dumbbells is a better option for your shoulders, not being on a fixed bar. All right, getting rid of that one. And we're gonna go overhead. Reach, 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 straight, strong arms. Packing that low back in. Pulling your low back toward the ground and not allowing your rib cage to pop. Trying to keep your arms nice and straight. Rotate your shoulders back. Feeling your shoulder blades set in. Side. Grip and grab through that core. Six. It's heavy. Eight. Ah, there's a round for me. Three minutes and 15 seconds left. I know about three rounds on this one, but that's okay. By the time the day's over, we'll have a lot of pushes and a lot of pulls. Press right up over your chest. Keep track of your wrists. Overhead pull. Strong flexion, support your joints, support your low back. Flex into your back, <sighs> making sure you're keeping those shoulders healthy. Oh. All right, there's two sets. We have a minute and 20 to go. Need my brakes for sure. <sighs> Definitely enjoying though the realization that I've built strength, ability, and capacity for my choice of weight. Twenty seconds to go. On. Reach, reach, reach. Strong, strong, straight arms. Pack into that core. Five. There's our timer. Oh, enjoy your thirty seconds of a break here. <laughs> Next up, we're going to have a tricep press. And then we're going to have to hop up and hit a back fly. 
So I'm gonna use my 25s for both. If you need more time than the 30, please feel free to take it. Tricep press, here we go. Are more difficult as far as weight selection goes. I'm gonna hold a glute bridge. Strong wrists, elbows are tight next to the ribs. Wrists stay on top of the elbows. Open across your chest. Squeeze your elbows in. And eight. All right, coming up for our back flies. Hinge your hips back. Belly is strong. Keep your neutral spine. Your elbows come out wide and pinch in together at the top. Eight. All right. Back down. Back to your tricep press. Feeling your back support. Shoulder blades rotate back. It's called packing your back, flexing the muscles of your upper back to support the shoulders and everything going on there. Six, push with those triceps. Eight. Keep it going. Pushing and pulling. Find your core. Find your back. Five. Six, seven. Eight. Make sure you're in control as those weights drop back down. Really grabbing through the back. 2.12 to go. Remember to connect to the muscle that you're wanting to recruit, to grab and incorporate. Four, five, seven, eight. All right, up for your back flies. Get everything set. You have your set stance. Then the butt pushes back. Belly draws strong. <sighs> Try not to move anything except for your arms. Shoulder blades squeezing together. A lot of times we have the tendency to start bobbing our head and back from the hips. Hold strong. Eight. Eight. 
12 seconds. Time. Whew. All right. Next up, push-ups and lawnmowers. I'm going to use my 35 for lawnmower. If you want to use support from a bench for that, feel free. Same thing, only six to eight push-ups. I'm very excited about that. Find your child's pose real quick. Stretch those arms out. Roll the shoulders back. And we're on. Five minutes. Arms should be a little tired. Get your core super strong. Yep, not very, not very deep for me today. It's okay. I got pretty deep yesterday. Whew. Okay. Lawn mowers. One leg's forward. One leg is back. Make sure the hips are squared off. Your back stays neutral. Your belly stays strong. Focus on feeling your lats. So the tendency is to have the arm and the shoulder, the bicep doing the work. If you chose a heavy enough weight, that's not possible. You have to use your back. So pull your elbow back, kind of feeling like you're lengthening it back toward the hips. All right, push-ups. You jump on in if you're ready. <clears throat> Feel free to change up your style. If you want to go wide, military, pike, diamond, whatever. You're still pushing, and that's the goal. Better that time. Squared off hips. Strong, strong back. Roll both shoulder blades back and down. And eight. Keep the belly strong and firm. Six, seven, eight. About two minutes to go. You need that lower body foundation. Learn to recruit, develop, build, feel the work in the muscle that we're focused on. Shoulders back and down. Your ribs are tucked in, the core is strong, but your chest is lifted, shoulders rolled back. 
seven, eight, 33 seconds. There's our time. Okay, so grab your resistance band. We're gonna be doing, actually, no, 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 I'm sorry. You're gonna do triceps and biceps. So you can go kickbacks or you can go uh, skull crushers on the ground and you're gonna go bicep curls. So my push here, it's gonna be triceps on the TRX. If you have a TRX, tuck your hips, keep your plank positioning, elbows squeeze in tight. Your body drops forward. You feel your core grab, elbows squeeze in. Push with your triceps, seven and eight. Then you swing around, bring your elbows up, tuck again through the hips. Two, three, try to keep your elbows high, high. Bring your elbows toward one another. Get your triceps. Relax your neck. Keep the belly strong. Back to biceps. All right, elbows come up high. Make sure those wrists are tucked in. Two forty four to go. All right, back to triceps. Two, three. My triceps are always sore after these guys. But it's okay if you're using dumbbells. Still technically getting a push and technically getting a pull. to go. So if you have a TRX, you probably know, but the further away from your anchor point, the easier 
that the move will be. You have less weight that you have to push or pull. Squeeze those elbows in. Try to keep them nice and high. It's a good forearm sets as well. Whew. Tuck and engage through the core. It's one of the beautiful things about a TRX is that you get so much core flexion and work along with whatever else you're doing. Seven, eight, Ooh. 10 seconds. Time. Woo. All right. So now you will grab your resistance band and you're going to do push ups or with your resistance band. You can do flies and you're going to flip around and do rows. We're going to do push ups and rows on the TRX. If you don't have a resistance band, you're going to do flies from the floor. Open your arms out wide, palms face, come back up like that. And then you're gonna do a dead row with dumbbells from the top, all right? Otherwise, use that resistance band. And I'm gonna use the TRX. Hopefully, you have access to them. You can use them as well. Same idea, remember, further back you are, under or near your anchor point, the more difficult it will be. Four, five, shaky, <laughs> seven, and eight. Trying to find that even press. Now an even pull. Open the chest. Focus on using your back. Eight. Those thumbs come right to your armpits on the row. Back at it. Make sure the hips are tucked. You have your plank positioning. Those straps go up by those ears. Six. Keep that core. And eight. Oh, I feel that chest. Okay. Into the back. Okay, so watch that the hips are not rising first. Open the chest, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Tuck your tailbone. Eight. Oof. Things are definitely getting tired. <laughs> We have 2.20 to go. Make sure your shoulders are staying healthy. Four. Six. <laughs> Had shaky legs, shaky arms. My pecs are shaking. I don't know that I've ever had shaky pecs before. Super fun. Always something new.
It's... <sighs> One ten to go. Keep utilizing your back. Four. Feel the back, come on, find that back. Big muscles of the back. It can go for days, right? Relax in the neck. Oh, strengthen through the back, we made it. All right, if you have a TRX, we are going to stretch, or start our stretch there. If you do not, then go to a wall, open your arm up and back, twist your body away. Oh, get that chest, your shoulders. If you have a TRX, grab those straps, step forward, and then lean in. Let the chest stretch, one arm goes up, and then down. Oh my gosh. Whew. That was fun. Okay, go ahead and switch, other side. Step forward, let your body hang out. Lean forward, open through the chest. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then lean up and down. All right, if you have a TRX, we're gonna flip around, if you don't, Grab, hopefully, around a door jam or a post or a wall and just let your hips sit back. You're going to stretch your back muscles, get that traction. If you have a TRX, find a point where you can dig your heels into the ground without sliding. And then let your body lean away, get traction through your back. There we go. Oh, there it is. It's too far under. Rotate through those hips a bit, left and right. Okay. And then go ahead and come to the ground on your side. Stack your knees and shoulders. Relax your head and neck on the ground. If you can't get your head to the ground because it's tight, Get a pillow. You want to relax your head and neck. Take your top arm. Scrape your thumb along the ground, reaching. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Try your best to keep your hips stacked. And then slowly let that mid-back twist. Stay up over the shoulder just a second. So at this point in time, Either your thumb and first and second fingers are on the ground, or you can go ahead and rotate all the way to the back of the hand. Okay, and then keep reaching, reaching, reaching. And then you're gonna come into a full spread arms, pulling that right shoulder back and down. Maybe take your right leg and tuck it under the left knee. Oh, rotate through that mid back and then just reach your arm up over the shoulder and then out at that 90 degree angle and then up and then out. Okay, bring it all the way back around. 
Perfect. And then before we switch to the other side, just come up keeping your knees stacked, plant your hands on the ground, and rotate a bit behind you. Oh. Okay, let's flip and hit the other side. Okay, stack up those arms. Left arm reaches, reaches, reaches. Keep your hips stacked. Keep your breath. You got it. Reach, 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 reach all the way around. Okay, find that T, open up maybe. Take your left shin and tuck it under the right knee. And then rotate. I got this guy in the way. That arm. Up. There we go. Whew. And then open. And then out and up. And open. One more time. Out and up. And open. And then we're going to go all the way around. All the way, all the way, all the way. Perfect. Okay, release your legs. Come up with them still stacked. Both hands. Reach and twist behind. And then go ahead and rotate to your hands and knees. Turn your fingertips back towards your knees. Nice little stretch through the forearms. Ooh, they get tight. And then turn the other direction. Palms face up. And then internally and externally rotate your elbows. Okay, lastly, let's hit a thread the needle. Inhale, bring your right arm up nice and high. Hold here a second. And then exhale and slide under, threading through, reaching. Oh. So I kind of have to shift and reach, then pull my hips back over to the right. Take your left hand on top of the right hand and pull, pull away from you just a bit. All right, release there. Press into your left hand, bring your body up, and then let's hit the other side. Inhale, bring your left arm up high, high, high. And then exhale, drive under, threading through. Reach over and then let your hips pull back to the left. Take your right arm and pull the left away from you. Fantastic job. Always great work. Continuing to push the body to new places in a healthy and methodical manner. Always pushing to the extent where there's a challenge.